Well, that's going to make things really annoying because I don't really know how to splice those together. So, let's try this again, shall we? Bow, bow, bow. Right. Um, this will be posted on YouTube as soon as I get around to it. Let's... Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Uh, let's see. So, save. What have we got? Oh, God. Oh, he's trembling. Ow. Fuck. Wow. Oh, bloody hell. Ooh. Yeah, I'm back. I don't re I honestly have no idea what the fuck happened. It's like OBS decided to buffer a bunch of stuff and shove it all up the pipes at once. Oh my goodness. I got him to throw me. I got him to throw me. How the fuck did I do that? Yeah, there is no, there is no way that I am. There is no way that you're running out of that. Oh my God, he does. Oh, he threw me right on top of the fucking thing. <laughs> oh, oh, there is a tear in his eye. That is sad. Ugh.
Okay, we're getting this. We're getting this slowly. Oh god. Dark latex time. <laughs> I'm really heavy. Thank you. What's this? Ah, puppy. Little crystal. Well, let's try. Oh my god. Oh, sugar. Oh, it turns me into a doggy with horns. Great. Um, so we're going to have to use the little crystals. No. Oh, I've just had a... I've just had a I just had a thought it might be this one that I'm going so if we go in in the bottom one we can go to this one and let's have a look um, if we go this way it takes us to this one What about a oh uh, then across there oh why did I do that I went through the wrong one. Back through that. It was up, across. Down. This way to that one. Up to that one. That way. That way. That way. Yeah. Seems please don't. <laughs> Do my pores look strange? <laughs> no, humans don't have pads on their feet. <laughs> let's let's go, let's go. Oh, God. red save time
Right, um... Oh! I walked right into the fucking thing! Right. Oh! Okay then. So that's... Oh my god. It's transforming the crystals behind me. Can't go that way, can't go that way, can't go through there. I can't go through there, can't go through there. Going through, okay, so this would be the only place to go. Um, oh. Ah. Oh my god, this is so adorable. <laughs> oh my god, here we go, even more. So this is going to be... Right, okay, so... Damn! So you need to run for this one. Got ya. Well, that was stupid. So, oh, fuck. I hate time puzzles. Oh, we got to go down. something blocking me there Down. 
on and... Right, okay. Ah, piss! Damn it all! Oh my god, there is enough. Oh, fucking hell. Down. Right. We're getting there. Buggery! I walked into the crystal. Really? What is wrong with my fingers all of a sudden? Right, okay, and then it was... Oh my... Jesus Christ. We'll complete this, we'll complete this, and then I'm going to fucking bed. A line of bullet holes, ooh, okay, lovely. Let's have a look. One moment. Oh. 
Uh, bah, 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 bah. How, you know, that's how I want to follow you forever. Forget about the end of the world. Have you and you have me. This isn't. It. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, this twat! Here we go, it does freaking time. I won't stop you. Players your tricks on us again. Oh god, I am fucking exhausted. Name's human over there. I still insist on what I said to you. If you persist in your survival, you may bring catastrophe to the whole world. How can we make such a choice in such a situation? What did you say? How could a human bring catastrophe? He just wants to escape from the building. We've overcome so many hardships to be here. You can't just stop us with your mouth. You dream it. We won't believe what nonsense you say. Failed sample. Creating you and your species, you are created to stop the disease. This human is a potential disease carrier. He's alive. I don't believe you. You just want to intimidate him so that he won't dare go out. A man with serious illness will not have such a strong will. I have no reason to tell you a lie like this. I don't have to do this. I failed in the first riot. Neither I nor all the researchers here can save the world. Because of the riot. The research facilities are destroyed, samples are escaped, and the treatment plans are ruined. Everyone. Only I survived. Because I still have some tasks to finish. I'm not human anymore. But I have been testing and observing the virus. These years, I am committed to eliminating all dangers. I hope this will help the last batch of survivors. Therefore, the world may have a chance to be rebuilt. Only at that time I could feel relieved. Only you, you are the human's problem. You are an unexpected existence. Why, I haven't, why haven't I gone upstairs to check your cabin years ago? Have you thought about the result? There are only ruins and dilapidated culture relics outside. Society, group, environment, family, friends, life. These have all become the past. There's nothing left at all. It's hard to survive outside for a human like you. Although you can run pretty fast sometimes. But it doesn't mean that your chance to live is high. In this uninhabited land-like wilderness. You'll be suffered to die. He won't, because I'm here. Really? I didn't know how strong your friendship is. Everything I know about you comes from monitors a few hours ago. But how could a human and a monster live together? Not mentioning your different biology. The relationship between you two is predator and prey. Moreover, a latex won't live long without host. What do you think that human can do after your death? Won't he be all alone after all? The fate is still not changed. Pro? It doesn't matter. When I was born, I'm just as other kins, searching for hosts for a lifetime. 
I thought that would be my ultimate goal in life. But fate has magically turned me into the way I am now. I've got intelligence, learned the ability to communicate and acquired my own purpose. I don't need any hosts now. I won't need hosts anymore. All I need is just someone who can accompany me, listen to me and work together. I don't care whether short-lived or not. I have lived a happy life. I've worked very hard too. A wait has lasted so long. A plan has been prepared for so long. If you truly carried the virus out, what should I do? Latex, human, I. I've heard the word excellent many times from this latex. You are quite similar to me. How I desired to be an excellent being too. You must be wanting to assimilate human, thus becoming more strong and excellent. Because this is your instinct. But you didn't choose to do it eventually. You chose to be friends with him. You overcame, abandoned your natural instinct. But you will not improve to be excellent through this. And I? I just want to pass this period of time peacefully. Soon, humans in the shelter will be able to step on the earth again. I'll go contact those elites at the time. I'll provide all the data collected from surface these years and provide resources and energy stored in this building. Humans will regain their hope. All this will come true before long. But it's on condition that you didn't wake up. Even though it's just a possibility. Every possibility can introduce a fatal outcome. You will eventually spread out the virus. The pan plan will be terminated immediately. And I'll have to wait for another who knows how many years. How long will I be kept waiting this time? Maybe I won't be able to see the day come anymore. Wait after worked. Implement after planned. I've done all I can do, but I still can't save anything in the end. And you, the nameless human, what can you do if you escape to outside? Even some little disasters in nature will take your life easily. Comparatively, staying here and being transformed into latex may be a better ending or you will die outside. Your dark latex friend won't make much difference. The physical fitness of humans is at the bottom of the rank in nature. Eventually you will regret your decision on leaving this building. Human is a kind of social animal. Fighting without partners and talents will not let you live for too long a time. So your fate is still doomed, not affected by your choice to leave. We, everyone, all, have changed nothing after all. Everyone was struggling so hard. Everyone has paid their sacrifice. But in the end, we have changed nothing. I beg for you, you only need to make a little sacrifice, then everyone will be saved. Please, please, really. <laughs> There's still hope. You can't determine whether this human is carrying the virus. You just said maybe. This half probably is worth a bet for me. 
What an optimistic latex. You think I don't hope it to be true. But it's this human's decision. You, how do you think? Our fates are dependent on you. Make a choice. Stay or leave. Destroy the last hope. Human, I won't force you. Just choose what you want the most. Follow your heart. Puro will always support you. Do the thing you believe is right. So, it's still too hard to decide. That's true. No matter what you choose, it will hurt the other. I have an idea. Little guy, are you willing to abandon your human identity? Wait a minute. I know what you're going to say. You want to transfer this... <clears throat> but isn't the research material say the self-consciousness of humans will be weakened or even lost? Then why would you think I still possess my self-conscious? Though we haven't succeeded in curing humans, there are techniques for treating species other than human. If the treatment target is not human, the disease can be cured easily. As long as you are willing to sacrifice, I can provide you with the drug I injected. That's a kind of drug research by me and others which won't let the subject lose their self-consciousness and things after that will be easy after finishing the treatment you will be able to leave here with your failed sample friend i can even offer some foods and help you as long as you can do as what i say please I've raked my brain to think out this one last method. That's all I can do. Please have, c please consider carefully. Just a little sacrifice. How do you think, human? Is he trustworthy? I don't want to believe in him. Perhaps this is his stalling tactic. We don't know anything about the treatment. What if he's going to harm you by this chance? Moreover, human, do you really want to become... become like me and him? I... I won't care about your looks but you'll be changed for a whole life. So let's forget it. I'm sorry, the clothed. We've decided. Human, you agreed? Really? You are willing to? You nodded. Human, have you really thought thoroughly? You may not get used to the new body and you won't know the risks of it. This, a method with no way back, you won't be able to turn back anymore. Have you really decided? I haven't thought what you may agree. 
That's so great. It's enough. Don't laugh too early. I won't move a step from you if you dare to do anything wrong. I'm gonna... N nothing. Let's start soon, end soon. Since you've decided, we may begin the treatment now. I don't know if you can endure the boredom of continuous intravenous drip for days. Failed sample may come with me too. Sorry for the previous attack. I did that because I have no other choice. Can you not call me failed sample? I feel angry hearing this. That's not important. Follow me. Let's go to my lab. Human, I'll keep an eye on him. Puro will absolutely protect you. Don't worry about it. I will follow right behind you. You decided to accept the treatment. You lie on bed comfortably. This is your only decent rest in a long time. You got tortured by an awkward inject skill for a long while. Finally, that needle is successfully injected into your blood vessel. The drug is delivering into your body drop by drop. Next, you only need to wait quietly. Puro is watching you peacefully from the bedside. Very quiet. The only sound in the whole room is just the dripping of drugs. You stare at Puro, stare at his cloudy pupils. He feels a little bit shy, turning his head to the other side. The time is passing tick by tick. Sleepiness floods your head. You fell asleep gradually. You had a long, long dream. In the dream, you are trying to escape the pursuit of a skull-headed death in panic. You're so scared, running between all places that you can hide. There's nobody. No one can help you. You have nowhere to run. You crouched helplessly on the ground, hoping not to be seen. But you was found eventually. That huge, pale bone claws seized your shorts and pulled it off hard. Whoa! It's just a dream? How long has time passed? Your body is so heavy. <gasps> it's not a dream. The death has chased you from your dream. <laughs> Purr? <laughs> Purro! Purro! <laughs> Human is such a sleepy head. You've slept for days. It's making me so worried. You smiled embarrassingly. Your tail is pressed under your butt, already numb. Tail? Stop lying there. Get up and have a look at your new body. Ah, the 
Look at those blue eyes. <laughs> so fluffy. There's no uncomfortable feelings. It's different from your expectation, but it feels all right. Human is so cute. Puro witnessed your slow transformation. It's, it's so wonderful. Have you forgot anything? Do you have any weird impulses? Not at all. You are awake. No allergy. <laughs> okay, he's hiding under his fucking blanket. <laughs> no mutation. You are so lucky. I am in cold sweats. Now you finished the modification. Everything is fine now. By the way, your friend is now parasitized on the bio-robot which I originally planned on testing viruses. My bio-robot has near similar functions with human organisms. Therefore, your dark latex friend won't need a host anymore. I've done all I can. Now you two can leave from here. Congratulations. The treatment is complete. Human. Now I'm relieved. Really? <laughs> you suddenly jump up from the bed. Your strong new legs made, made me fall directly on the ground. <laughs> you're laughing on you you're laughing to yourself too <laughs> you and puro have left that building that guy who called himself k remained there and promised to help when we're in need you said goodbye to him, came to the hall and opened the gate. Light filled your eyes. Now it's the sunrise. Flame red light burning on the horizon. Different from the light of light bulbs. That's the sh shine of sun, the rising run. You've seen the sunset, and now you can witness the sunrise. You and Puro are standing on the real soil. Everything done is worthwhile. Stepping on the green grass, we move gradually far away. That tower is being veiled by other ruined buildings bit by bit. Now you can only see the tip of the tower. Well, considering how big that building must be, they must have ran some fucking distance from that tower, I'll tell you that. Everything is so natural, full of vitality and safe. I no longer feel nervous, grasping your latex friend's paw more firmly. Both of you didn't talk, but all oh, with a smile on your face. Just walking to the direction of the rising sun, walking on and on. Come on, give me those ending scenes. You've walked a long, long way. The shape of that tower has become vague. You can't tell how long you've been walking. You can't see that tower anymore. Surrounding buildings are still broken. Some indomitable plants are entwined on rebars, growing stubbornly. You stopped, and Puro have noticed it. You haven't gotten used to your new body. This pair of strong legs can easily step too far. You've tumbled many times on the road, feeling tired now. Human, are you tired? Don't push yourself. 
There's a rock. Let's go and sit and rest on it. Come, lean on me. Ah! It's music! Oh my god, look at them! Human, we have succeeded. This world is so beautiful. I finally experienced these. I fulfilled my dream. It's all thanks to you, human. Human is so brilliant. Being with a friend is such a happiness. I can't see rocks or rubbles because they're all static. I can only see that round of rising sun. It's so bright, so bright, but I can't move my eyes. This feels completely different from the feeling on the balcony of the tower. This time I have my paw standing on the earth with a reliable friend. Human, you're also feeling happy, right? Yes. I'm so happy. Purr. Oh my god! Ah! ah, yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, my hand won't stop twitching! The excitement! Fingers, please stop with the twitching! Twitch, it's too much twitch. There's too much twitch in my hand. Ah! We do not say that word in this chat room. <gasps> it's the credits! Sport. Bow wow wow. Oh, let's see. What what else did we find? Ah. Oh. oh, take me, leopard daddy. Take me. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's got both of the gases there now. <laughs> the picture of the gas is a sad face. Oh, it turns into a doggy. And this one turns into a kitty. we got our sharkies. Oh, is that a cat one? What is this one, eh? Oh, Cerebrus. <laughs> what have we got up here? Splort. <laughs> oh yeah, take me daddy. What else did we what else did we find? Ah, oh, the these are great ending credits. These these are wonderful ending credits. They really are. Woo! I got a tail. <laughs> I'm a kitty now. Crystal wolf. Big wolf. Very big wolf. Ooh. Original roll photo. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what? Oh my god! 
All of the photos! Oh, it's Puro crying! Ah. Oh, that must be when he absorbs you. And then that's... That's Puro assimilating you. Lewd! Circle! Oh. <laughs> Hugs. Yeah, bury your face in that fluff. Oh, look at him carrying him. Giddy! Oh, well that's... That's one hell of a suggestive pose, isn't it? Oh my god. So that's what all these are. Holy crap. I've just realised what all those are. I thought those were just... Oh, so you get to look at all of the pictures from the entire game. Doggy. And that was one near the beginning, so that would be that would be our uh, our lovely cum crystals. Nah, I'll explore it. I'm a skull daddy now. There's a sharky. Oh, look at those adorable eyes. He just wants a hug. Oh. And splat! <gasps> Suddenly, Fox. Let's see, oh, that's that's K. Yeah, we've seen those ones. So if we keep going on down, we can. Here we go. Other photos. So it's the doggy, and the doggy turns him into the thingy. And then that's our goat. Uh, it's the kitty! <laughs> Why would you pick up the goo? It's time for a temperature reading! Oh yeah, we did find this one, didn't we? I thought we missed that one. <laughs> that is so adorable! Slorp. Oh. 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 Sproing. Oh my god, I'm sure... I think we've missed some. I think we missed some or something. That's one hell of a growth spurt. Oh my god. Oh, that's the civet attack at the beginning. Splat! You've done that one. Ah, oh, Where are they? Where are they? Original roll photo. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's the that's the wall, and oh, oh, hello. There's one we didn't get during the game. I wonder how you get that transformation. <gasps> Pearl. Ah, oh, give me that hug. Give me that ear. <laughs> give me that ear. <laughs> yeah, we got that one. Yep, yeah, we got that one. And that one's at the beginning. What the? I don't remember that one. Huh. I wonder how you get that one. That's one scene that we didn't grab. We got that one. Oh my god! 
so much puff. That would be the transformation one. Ah. <gasps> Here it is! We found it! Oh my god, take me leopard daddy. I love those hearts in his eyes. I fucking love those heart hearts in his eyes. <laughs> Oh. Well, hi. Thanks for playing my game. I can't believe you've made it here. I'm the developer of this game. You have come to a true ending. You just passed the list of game producers, the acknowledgement list and the audience. If you don't want to play anymore, you may quit and rest for a while. Yes, I will! Shortly. If you want to achieve another ending, you will need to restart playing again. Thank you for playing. You are unremitting, you've completed this game. That's your fate. In the end, what you did leads you to choose the option that you think is better. Well, on the other hand, it's not easy for you to reach here. <laughs> Oh. Well, if what you're saying that he is making another game, I fucking hope so. <laughs> Who is the fox? This is my only development partner, the composer Sheezy. Oh, the background music. <laughs> hey, wake up! No, sorry, sleepy fox. <laughs> I'm going to fall back to sleep. Um, let's see. Wow, we we've ba we have basically managed to do. So let's have a look. I believe this one, Experience 4, was our first run. Experience 3 was our second run. And this one was our, was our third run. You know, you know what? We love that picture. Oh, God. Just gotta love that picture. Ah, oh, take me leopard daddy. I wonder if we missed any pictures. I don't think we missed any. Did we miss? Oh, hello. There's some stuff up here. No, we read all those, didn't we? Anything? Did we go, Pi? Um, it doesn't look like we Fuck you, bird! Oh, give me that fluffy tail. Yeah, that's- that is everything. That is fucking everything. Hmm. Oh, take me leopard daddy. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. My ass is numb. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. It feels so good to stretch. Oh, well. Let's have a look. We've actually still got two endings to go, but I might possibly do those as a follow-up video. Um, possibly some, possibly something to add on, something quick, and then everything you'll probably find on YouTube eventually. Oh, well, damn. Whew. Oh, my back. Oh, thanks for thanks for the follow, Puro the Black Goo. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh boy, that was one hell of a journey. And yeah, at this point, definitely time for fucking bed. So, you'll find these videos on YouTube eventually. I'll probably get around to transferring them over in the morning. Um, you might see, so you might see them within the next day. <laughs> I'm just too shattered to do anything right now. So I'm going to grab another glass of squash and I'm going to head to bed. So thanks for joining me on this massive fucking adventure tonight. Um, thanks for not spoiling it too much for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and maybe we'll see what other games we can find along this line and see what else we can put out. So, um, thank you and good night for now, eh?